Hello friends, it's me Jirin Koder. In this video, we will see how to send an email using your Java application. In order to send a mail using your Java application, you have to have the Java Mail API. You can download the Java Mail API Java file from this link, which I will post in the description of this video. So for, uh, if you go to this link, you will have a download option. And once you download that jar, you can add that library into a project here just like this so this is the first step you have to add the java x.mail.jar and the next step is if you are using your gmail account you have to enable less secure app access this is very important if uh, this is a new feature in gmail so previously it was possible to use gmail account directly as it is but as of now they improved the security and you will have to go to this myaccount.google.com slash security and turn on this less secure app access so if you don't turn on this you won't be able to send mail using your java application okay so those are the two things you have to do in the first part and now let us start coding so i'm going to create a new java class here and let us name the class as java mail okay so we have a class and let me write a method here so public static void send mail and here i will receive the receiver of the email so the recipient of the email so we can give recipient Okay. Now this is going to be a simple uh, tutorial. You don't have to write a lot of code. So just let us just start writing the code, shall we? So we need a properties file. So oh, properties properties equals new property. So this will be used for configuring the properties for the mail. Uh, if you don't know properties, properties is just a key value store. I mean, we can put a key and a value to these properties. So in order to send a mail using your application, you have to configure minimum four fields. And these are the minimum required field, mail.smtp.auth. And you have to send these fields. So let us see what are these fields. So mail.smtp.auth property defines whether an authentication is needed for the email server so for example if it is gmail it is mandatory to have a username and password to log into this mail right so uh, if you are using some other mail servers uh, then it may not be required to provide an authentication in that case you can set this to false and this is for tls encryption so mail.smtp.start.tls.enable so in Gmail, you have to provide a true value for this key. And this is the host and port. For, for every mail server, you have a host and a port. You have to find it for your own uh, servers. If you're using Gmail, then smtp.gmail.com is the host for the Gmail uh, SMTP server. And the port is 587 for Gmail. So let us start adding this into the properties file. So, properties dot put as i said before it is just a key value pair so the key will be this one and you have to provide all the dedication to true so that is one thing then you have to provide the tls encryption so i'm setting this tls encryption also to true uh, one more thing you cannot provide a simple boolean value here you just have to provide string for both one okay then the third one is mail.smtp.host so we have to provide the smtp host here and for gmail it is smtp.gmail.com and the last thing you have to do is to provide this smtp port and that will be 587 for gmail now as you might expect the next thing we want is the email address the email address and password of your account from which you have to send the email so spring my account equals so my account email and here you will have to provide your gmail address here for security reason i am not giving my own right now then you have to provide your password for the email so that will be another uh, some string so th that also will be a string so now we have configured the properties for the mail server and we also configured the email address 
and the password uh, i mean we just assign the to a variable now we have to log in using this email address right so for that you can use session dot get instance so uh, there is a method like this there is a prop send there is an authenticator since we need authentication we have to provide authentication so this property is why this one we created is added here and regarding the authenticator we have to create a new authenticator to authenticate with this email address and password okay and we have to override a method called get password authentication okay and here we have to provide a password and username authentication so return new password authentication and here we have to provide our username and password and here i can give my account email id my what's the problem okay let me take this my account email and my password okay so now that part is fine and now i have to prepare the message that i want to send so i am writing another method to uh, separate these things so prepare message and this message will be in the format of a message class so this message is also part of the java mail api so i have i have to import the java.mail.message and going to the prepare message i have to prepare a simple message here so i'm going to prepare a message object message message equals new my message so I can create like this and i have to provide the session this created session has to be provided as the cons to the constructor of the message so i have to pass my session here and let me just add that parameter in this method and i have to instantiate the my message using that session now the next thing we have to set is from where we are sending so th there has to be a from address right so we have to provide the from address and that I am going to set using this set from and it has to be an internet address. So I can pa uh, pass my uh, username here. So my account email is xxs.gmail.com. So I have to pass that as a from address. So I'm passing that using the my account email. Let me just add one more parameter and pass that to this internet address. Let us see what is the problem. There is an uncaught un exception, so I have to surround block with a try catch. Again, some messaging exception. So I'm just using a generic exception here. Okay, and if some exception happens, I will simply return now. Okay, now we have set the from address. Now we have to send set the recipient of the message. So set recipient, and here also we have to provide. We have to provide the recipient address and i have to pass that as a parameter here so recipient let me add that parameter into my uh, method parameters and taking that recipient to an internet address i can set it as a to address and if you look at this recipient type you can see that there is cc2 and bcc so if you want to set a carbon copy or a bcc you can specify that there for now we are sending a simple to uh, setting only the two address and you have to set a subject for this email so i'm going to set the subject as my first email from java app. so we set the subject and we have to set a message so that text can be set using set text there are some other methods like set content where you can set a multi-part or complex data for now we are sending a simple text email okay so here i am going to add like hey the and you can provide slash here for coming to next slide just like the java formatting so look my email okay now i send the i send the text also now i just have to return this message of okay, check because the message preparation is complete and the last thing last thing i have to do is using this transport class so transport from the java x dot mail and calling this send method and sending this message so it will surely throw some exception so i am simply throwing this messaging exception 
okay then i think it throws more than one exception so i just have to throw a generic one and okay that is fine uh, this is a net beans error it still shows the red line but there is no error we can ignore it now i want to notify in the command line that message sent successfully this is just for us to debug the application okay that is fine and when we start this one i want to get a notification so preparing to send email okay now we need a main class to start this application so i'm going to create one more main class and here java mail and here obviously we need a public static void main and here i can send a mail using java main util dot send me and here i am going to use my test email address which i created for this purpose and i will be using a same sender and a receiver uh, you can use your own sender and receiver but for the sake of showing or illustrating the java main api here i am using the same email id for sending and receiving email so the sender and recipient is same now i have configured my password for the email and this is my open email i have no new emails and let me just send this email right now so i'm going to run this program from the java mail and it is showing preparing to send email and let us wait for a moment and you can see that message sent successfully and immediately i got an email from myself from the java application and there you can see that hey the look my email now let us uh, improve our email a little bit better by including the html content so let us see how we can set an html content as the body of a message so that can be done using this set content method and there you can see that there's a multi-part and a normal thing so we are going to use the second overrated method and here you can provide two strings so the first string is for the html content and the second string is for setting the mime type so for html it is text slash html so that is the content that is the mime for html so here we are specifying that the following content is going to be an html content and here we have to provide our, our html code so string html code i am going to prepare an html code and here let's say we create something like uh, h1 uh the like java and slash h1 so that will be the header and if you want to add a next line you can add br slash and that's it and let's say we, we need a bold thing so uh let us make h2 and i hope there is a tag like b i don't know much of an html i'm sorry so next line and here i'm going to end this to that before that i have to end the bold tag okay now uh i have to set this html content as my content okay now let me just run this program again so java mail to java and let us wait for that email in my uh inbox so message was sent successfully and there you can see that we got the we love java and the bold tag is working so next line we love java so that is that is how you send html content and simple content like this from your java applications so that's it guys that's the end of this video i hope this video helped you in your projects as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and see you on the next one